Alright, so, phase one, officially completed. You may now res resign. Come, move on, move on to phase two of the experiment. So I proved in the first one it was all about, um, basically, is suicide a higher thinking form of the body of self-evolution? Does eating fast food make you, or your body, want you to kill it for the sake of making us a better species as humans, you know, which wants to get rid of you and progress as superior beings of the genetic line. Or also it's like, if your body doesn't process it to use as nutrients for the mind, it's just like... <coughs> or it makes sounds, I don't even know, because I'm not, I don't have headphones for instance in my body, and even then I don't know if I would recognize the sounds, like maybe intuitively, but I'm just not tuning into that frequency. Okay, so phase two, I think will be about what is still like hard and inconquerable and all that stuff, even when on like a good diet. Well, it's been the best diet for me, which is the keto one, which is, I've explained it before, you can go find that, it's, it's annoying to explain. <laughs> Uh, but that one works best, just overall, and it feels correct, and all primal and reaches into my goodness of human functioning. But I've, I've noticed that emotions are actually almost more raw and intense, especially anger, and I bet the other ones are too. Anger's just what I'm noticing, because in my biased type of hopeful, dreaming thinking, I was like, oh, I'll never be angry again. If I'm on the right foods, anger must all just be an evolution of wanting us to kill us. No, no, you get angry. Like today, I went to go see Minions, and the way that they used a new concept in every single old cliche to make a movie was actually infuriating. And then at the very end, the only thing that saved it was using where it was a new concept by bringing Despicable back, and that rant is on my blog if you want to go read it. It's, it's an intense rant, but... <laughs> uh, okay. And also, if children are able to like villains, that's a whole concept I would love to look into, because... I mean, I think what was really fascinating is whenever I was on fast food and kind of things that made my mind work in all the wrong ways, I, I didn't want humanity pro to progress as much. Like, I liked the idea of people, like, dying and gushing blood, and even whenever I was on, you know, Sour Patch Kids and energy, drink, energy drinks every day, I imagined my twin's face, like, ripping off and got pleasure from it. I can tell you these things now, because now they like really bother me and make me like sick, but those things happen to a lot of people. Like they imagine those things and get happy. And I think it's part of the higher thinking body desires. Like that's a bodily desire probably in the glitch of self evolution, I think. Because it only really happened when I was on fast food or energy drinks. Monster was my favorite, and so I discovered Red Bull, and that was just, you know, that's a classic. So you can't deny the classics, especially when you love cigars. <laughs> you know, classic people. Also, I drink martinis now, sugar-free, naturally. Okay, so, uh, yeah, phase two is going to be more about what is still really hard. Because um, I think the main thing is that drugs, and I think processed food should be considered a drug, so should sugar, they make it harder to control your mind, um, to be in control of yourself. Because you would, like, I would have sugar and immediately lose control over how much I would have of it. That's what happened on the shake night, is I had one sip and had to drink the whole thing. Or even now when I would like eat a Pop-Tart or things with like such high sugar, it was like an addiction. I wasn't even hungry, I just had to eat more, it's all I could think about. And my mind was triggering into that. And I think that's your body speaking, is like not letting you get over it and obsessing over it. And it's how I think these disorders even occur, like ADHD and OCD, and I wrote a post about it yesterday, of how I think it's your mind getting stuck in connections, like ADHD is, um, you know, hyperfocus is where they, they cannot, and I couldn't, you focus so hard that you can't break away from it, and people are like, oh, it's so great that you can hyperfocus, no, it's, I got really mad when people disrupted me from it, I was stuck in connections, and hyperactivity is where you can't control your connections again, they're going everywhere, you can't catch them, and I think OCD is where you obsess, and you can't stop, like, you can't get out of those, you know, it's, it's a disruption in the way that we function. Which means that it could be conquerable, but it's also really scary and possible. And where was I going? So yeah, a lot of those I have a predisposition for and I've felt over time, which I think just means I'm carbon tolerant because whenever I try to process the world in carbs, it just glitches. 
And so now what is it that's still, you know, what in life is still just really hard to deal with despite being on a good diet? Like today I had caffeine this morning, which fits into ketosis. You know, you can still have caffeine. It's sugar-free. It's almost, like, I think it's no carbs. I think so. And yet still just felt squirgy and a lack of sleep is also hard to function on. And I just, I couldn't remember things like my memory was in havoc. Um, processing what was happening around me quickly and conversing were hard. I didn't have social anxiety, suicide, or really depression though, which are the three things that I was tracking in the first place. And these are the new ones, so that's where, it, that's why it's phase two. And then I had alcohol at the draft house, which was just like a Chilton with no sugar, but it was still alcohol. And that just caused this disruption to where I couldn't handle the fact that my twin has moved in. And then I have no solitude. Like it's, it was really hard to conquer and I wanted to escape. Like I felt trapped initially like an animal trapped inside of a corner and then felt the flight or fight response like and it was flight which usually I'm a I'm a fight or sometimes a flight it's, it's kind of 50 50 honestly I this was like a flight like I even texted a friend like hey does that offer still stand to go far away from here like out of country and I wanted to text another friend just to even just go to Austin it's triggered so yeah it's still figuring out where all that primal lies and where the higher thinking is and mm. I want to take a nap so bad, but I try to nap, and then all these ideas come up, because I'm excited now. I think since phase one is over, I can publish the first book for it. And I was going to go ahead and do like the diary part of it, all the complexities that you haven't seen just yet, but I think I have another title for that one, and it's going to be at a different point. Like This is just going to be all of the blog posts, but with every single week having the mental data that I've been tracking, like, here's the food that I ate for the day, here's the mental data, blog post, repeat, but weekly so it still works. It'll be a little complicated but only like a week's worth so I should have it by next week. Alright I'm gonna go I don't know. I don't know what to do with my body right now. It's got caffeine and alcohol and they're fighting in the disruptive form of conquerment over my body and it just wants to nap but then it can't and do you guys have I wanna go jump on a trampoline for thirty minutes. I would do have this random little theory that um spice it's actually your body trying to clean itself out because you know it, it makes your body kind of eh, and we're not supposed to want it. it's it's meant for birds like